Welcome to the physics place, the place to learn about physics. And in this video, I'm going to uh, explain what electrical power is. Uh, you probably already saw the video about uh, volt and voltage and cur current. And in this video, I will bring them together. So I will tell you how they work together to make electrical devices work. So here we have a closed uh, electrical circuit. We have the battery here uh, and the ampere is go going to the lamp and they're going back with the wire. So this is a working closed electrical circuit. And for instance, we know now that this uh, battery is giving uh, 1.5 volts and that 3 ampere are going out of it. So 3 amps or 3 apes are going out of it and they have a bag of volts uh, and everyone has a bag of volt of 1.5 volts. Uh, so they go through the lamp. Uh, the 3 ampere, they also go out of the lamp because they don't disappear. Uh, but their bags are empty now. So this lamp has gotten uh, some energy in the uh, volts from the volts here. And in this video, I'm going to explain uh, how much it is and how you can calculate it. And therefore we need this equation because we are going to calculate the electrical power. The electrical power, uh, this is the equation we need. We have uh, the capital P uh, for electrical power and that's measured in watts or with a W, capital W, that's the unit, very important. Then we have the U, the U or V, it depends uh, what the book uh, you use is using, so check that in your book. Is the voltage, uh, of course, in volts, uh, capital V. And we have the I, which is uh, for the intensity, and that's the current in amperes, so that's the capital A. So if you uh, multiply the volts with the amperage, then you know the watts, and that's the electrical power of the device, and that's the actual energy it gets. Uh, of course, sometimes you have to use uh, different equations, so sometimes you have to calculate the u, so that's the 2 here. So then uh, I use this tricks, uh, trick, if we need to calculate the 2, we have to 6 divided by 3, or p divided by i, so it looks like this. And we have to calculate the i here, so that's the other way around, p divided by u. So sometimes you use this one, this is the standard one, but you have to re be able to rebuild it to one of these two. And I use this trick for that, because these numbers are a lot easier than these letters. So now an example. Uh, calculate the electrical power uh, of the lamp. So this lamp is having uh, an electrical power, and you can now calculate how large it is. So we have already a few things given. Um, we know the voltage, because 1.5 voltage uh, before the lamp, and zero voltage after lamp, so the lamp is using 1.5 voltage. And the current, the ampere is three, because three are going through the ampere, uh, through the lamp. He's not using it, so uh, don't uh, get distracted by it. It's not using amperes, but the amperes are passing through. So that's why we say it has a, a intensity, a current of 3.0 ampere. So now we can calculate the power uh, in watts. So this is the equation we use. Uh, so we uh, multiply one, 0.5 with 3.0 and we get 4.5 watts. So that's the electrical power of this lamp. So that's the energy the lamp needs. If you now, for instance, would give uh, more amperes, then uh, the watts will go up and the lamp will shine brighter. And of course, if you keep on going, uh, the lamp will eventually break. The other way around, if, uh, for instance, this um, uh, battery will not give 1.5 volt, but only 1 volt, then uh, the battery, uh, the, the lamp will get less uh, electrical power uh, and it will work less good. So it will shine a little bit less, it will uh, be uh, more dim. And of course, if it's not enough, it will not work at all. So if this lamp needs 4.5 watts, um, you may have to make sure that it also gets it. And that can be with the ampere or with the volt. And uh, one of these two, or uh, both together, if you multiply them, they have to be 4.5. Another example. Uh, you can try it for yourself if you now know how it works. Uh, you connect uh, a light bulb to a wall socket with a voltage of 110 volts. The bulb needs an electrical power of 45 watts, so that's 10 times more than the previous one, to work. Calculate the current through the light bulb. So you know the power and you know the volts, and you have to calculate the current. Well, first we write down uh, what's given, so the power is 45 watts, the volts are 110. 10 volts, so the voltage, and we need to calculate the current, so we need to calculate the capital I. This is the equation we always use. Um, we have to rebuild it. I also use this one, so 6 is 2 times 3. We need to know the I, so that's the 3, so 6 divided by 2, so P divided by U, and it looks like this. So we have these given, so we put it in the equation, and we get 0.41 ampere. So the electrical current through this lamp will be 0.41 ampere. Um, if this will go up, 
then the lamp will get too much and it can break and if it goes down then it will not get enough and it will not work properly so in this case the lamp will get 0.41 ampere that's something that the power socket can change but the power socket cannot change the faults so it can uh, decide how much ampere goes through it but not how much volts. so every ampere getting out of the power socket will have 110 volts but in this case it's only 0.41 amperes coming out Another example, uh, I'll go again, try it for yourself. Um, you connect the microwave with an electrical power of 1.0 kilowatts to a wall socket. The current through the microwave is 9.1 ampere, so that's a lot more than the previous light bulb. Calculate the voltage of the wall socket. So we know the power, the power is given in kilowatts and we have to transform it to watts. So just like kilometers, uh, how many meters is it? It's a thousand meters, so you do multiply by a thousand. Uh, we have given, uh, we've gotten the current, that's 9.1 ampere, and we have to calculate the voltage. We don't know the voltage yet. So this one, we have to rebuild, we need to calculate the U. So again, 6 is 2 times 3, we need to calculate the 2. So 6 divided by 3, or P, pa, sorry, P divided by I, so it looks like this. 1000 divided by 9.1, and that's 110 volts. So this one will work when your power socket is giving 110 volts. If it would give in 240 volts, volts, then it will get too much energy and it will probably break or the amperes will go down. If that will happen and you will still get a power of 1000 watts, then it will still work. That's it. I now hope you know how electrical power works and how you can calculate with it. Uh, if so, if you found this uh, help, uh, video helpful, please uh, let me know by liking it and of course subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.